It's another edition of Cooking with Cal. What are we making today? Raspberry tart. Raspberry tarts. And where are all our ingredients? I don't know. Where do they go? They just have an egg in them. Well, that's not enough to make tarts. Yeah. I'm going to get our ingredients, okay? Where are they? Why are they there? Because we got to keep them nice and cold. Freezing yeah. cold ingredients. What? I'm going to cut this up into cubes. You want to help me here? Thanks. Once we touch this butter a little bit, yeah. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge to stay cold. In here, we have gluten-free flour. Yeah. You know, but this will work just fine with regular flour. Yeah. Okay, but we're gonna obviously use gluten-free flour. Let's add some sugar. And what do you think this is? Salt. Salt, perfect. We're gonna get back out that cold butter. Mommy, when we start doing cooking like that? Years ago. How old is it? Um, like three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so dump all this oh, in. Two. That's two. Two? Yes, that's the top. You know what this is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A butter masher? It is kind of a butter masher. It's actually called a pastry cutter. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to hold it here. And mash it. We're not going to mash it, we're going to cut it. Okay, we want to keep some clumps. So we do like that. And you could also do this with your hands if you don't have a pastry cutter. We're trying to make nice flaky pastry dough, right? So to keep it flaky, I've got a couple tricks. Let's add the apple cider vinegar. We're gonna cook with a little bit of vodka because remember we're trying to keep the pastry nice and flaky? Yeah. So the alcohol in the vodka is gonna burn off in the oven and we're gonna have a nice flaky pastry crust. But it's still a little dry. Not all of it. Wrap this in plastic wrap. Okay. Wait, hold on. We don't want to wrap it too tight. I'm going to do what? Wrap it kind of like that. Because I want to press it down. And I will pop that in the fridge for about a half hour. I think yeah. we should ask for some help. Yeah. Okay. Ollie! <laughs> Even pieces. So cut that down the middle. Okay. Two more cuts. Flour for your station. Okay. Press it out to make a little circle. Flip. Now, I'm gonna give you the rolling pin, and you want it to be thin, but not too thin that it falls apart. Nice and even. That looks good. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and put it right there. What is that? This is raspberry jelly. Technically jam, because this is our filling. So pick your favorite jelly or jam or preserves to go in the middle. Take one side. Okay, grab this side, flip it over, and make a little pocket. And then, we're gonna take these edges, doesn't have to be pretty, crimp this all together. So we make a nice little seal. Oh, you can mash it for me. Whisk it up. This is called an egg wash. We're gonna brush this egg on. Wash. Now, we're gonna take a little sprinkle of sugar, just a little. Because I don't know how to do it. Hey, I could you could if you tried. Sprinkle. Beautiful. I'm going to take this fork and go step. Gentle, gentle, not too crazy. Now we're going to bake this for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll be ready to eat. Yeah. We're nice and cool out of the yeah. oven so we don't burn ourselves on the hot jelly. Mm. Are they good? They're so good and flaky and yummy. Are they very, very good? For these recipes and more. Head to today.com slash food. I love that. These are so delicious. I requested, you know, these obviously can be made with regular flour, yeah. but I requested that we use the gluten-free flour because I want to see if you guys even notice a difference. You don't notice Couldn't. a difference at all. It's no flaky, it's light. It's very, very good. Yeah. These are yummy. Well done, Cal. Yeah, it's like thanks. a fancy homemade Pop-Tart. It is, basically. Delicious. Yeah.